Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another beautiful day here. It is a balmy, freezing minus two degrees today, but that's not gonna stop us, so let's get our energy in for the day, get some breakfast. The goal of today's vlog is simple. I just wanna show you where I came from because I got the chance to come home and how it got me to where I was, how it made me the person that I am. This isn't your how to get into med school. This isn't your how to be a good doctor. It's just a little bit about me on my channel. I guess it all starts in high school. Now here's the part where I'm probably supposed to tell you that this is the desk where I spent so many hours studying. Let's be real. I'm gonna give you a tour around this desk and you guess what I was doing more of. All right, all right. Some of these are really old. Uh, it doesn't look like I was doing much studying at all. Here is a really cool ode to my early days because that is the first scrub cap I ever wore. Now, obviously I'm not a surgeon. I had no interest in being a surgeon in the long run, but when I shadowed, I got to go to the OR and I thought it was super cool. And that is the real scrub cap. So this right here is my first taste of medicine. And I should point out, by the way, if you're having a good laugh at the decor in my room, it is left pristine as it was when I left uh, for college. So, I mean, these were things that I accumulated as a kid, and that's why I have a Build-A-Bear from probably going with my sister and old swim team photos. There's me with my long hair, oh god. In fact, more accurately, this is what high school looked like. Ah, high school. Yep, that pimply, awkward, sort of fat, not full-faced phase yet where you're trying to figure out how to study and make friends and, well, find a girlfriend. And pretty awful time for everyone. Downhill mountain biking, downhill mountain biking, downhill mountain biking, but not a whole lot of studying. There was one thing about high school that was really important. And that was my time swimming. This right here, this is what got me my work ethic and what I think probably made me, or gave me the skills to study and work the way that I did in medical school. I'm gonna show you right now, my whole team, everyone, we're still in the case here and the work that we put in here, I think is the foundation for some of what I was able to do. Check this out, we're down here. Some of our state championships. Now, I started as a volunteer firefighter, and the reason was I was 16, I couldn't be an EMT, so I got involved here. I knew I could do EMS, and it was emergency service, but the truth was, I didn't love being a volunteer firefighter, and I didn't like doing the fire stuff. Found that out pretty quickly, that I was really much more interested in the EMS side of things. In the luckiest turn of events, one of my good friends from high school, who was also a swimmer, is here. Mike Stanley, everybody. Mike and I uh, did fire together. We did fire together. We did uh, a little bit of EMS out of here together. And I was actually coming by here to show that this is this is where I got my start. And I got you into this, if that's right, right? Yep, you did. So, 11 years ago. 11 years ago, there it is. And it's like nostalgic. We were, <laughs> we were just chatting off camera. Let's wait for a second, I'll just turn it off. <laughs> So we got into fire and EMS, it was like 11 years ago. Yeah, that's right. And then you stayed with fire. Yep. And then I went EMS, and then I went my separate way, and now I am where I am. So it's incredible. I know the, the viewers are not gonna understand how special it was, but like random, I, freezing cold day, I'm filming this video and I happen to catch Mike here at the station. These are not normally like man stations, so just good luck that you were here. That's right, right. yep. You know, going around like this, it sort of tells the story of my childhood, which I guess to me is a lot more nostalgic, but the point behind all of this is getting here was this weird, circuitous journey of just a lot of things that all add up to be me, and I guess 
One of the underlying takeaways I would want from this video is do things that you enjoy, be the person that you want to be, and the rest will follow. I mean, I swam, as you heard, because my dad swam. I did EMS because I was interested in EMS and emergencies, and now I'm an emergency medicine doctor, and so it kind of just all works out. We're at the place that I went to school and this is my first dorm room, fourth floor. This is the building where I actually started to become a good student. I went from being terrible and getting like a 3.0 and slowly working my way up through the biology classes. I took math in that building right over there, physics down there. I remember all of this and it's where I started to climb towards the 4.0. Now obviously the classwork was important, but you need a test to get into medical school and that test is the MCAT. I didn't study for it here, but I studied here. And this is where I studied for the MCAT, in the back of this house right here, hours on end in a chair going through MCAT books. This is where I grinded away, also going over to school, doing classes there to get the score that I needed to get into med school. And one of the other fun things about living here was my roommate Sal. I haven't seen him in a while, so let's see if we can get him on FaceTime. Sal, what's up bro? Hey guys. Check it out. Yo, nice <laughs> This is the history, so you're on the vlog. Uh, gosh, any stories that, that we can like share from when we were here? Oh geez, I don't know. I mean, all the, uh, all the parties and barbecues we threw in the backyard that, there. I feel like that driveway there is legendary to me. That driveway is legendary. Uh, Roo Crew probably has that place on speed dial now. <laughs> Seriously. And we had the workouts in the basement here in that like dirt oh, yeah. bottom basement. Oh and man. You taught me how to do a proper deadlift in the basement there. Deadlifting in the basement, that's for sure. So this, this house, yep. good memories, MCAT study time, it's like what got me to med school. Yep. Crazy that stuff. That was a good time living there. How are you otherwise, good? I'm good, yeah. I'm just uh, hanging out with a couple buddies today here in Nashville. And, uh, oh, it looks a lot warmer than here. Go and deal with the snow that's coming in here. Yeah, yeah it's freezing here. Will you be well? We're gonna catch up sometime in person. I gotta come down there and visit. Absolutely, man. Anytime. All right, man. We'll see you around. This is part of where my creativity started. It's Upstate Concert Hall. Probably, to this day, the coolest venue I've ever been in. It only holds about 2,000 people, but I saw bands like All Time Low, Mayday Parade, Trapped, and I even opened for the band Trapped here. So it's a huge part of my childhood, and it's incredible to be back here. Unfortunately, this Upstate Concert Hall closed its doors. It no longer has live music here. It moved to a location in downtown Albany, which is special, but there was something really cool about seeing bands like this literally just a mile from where I grew up in a small suburb outside the city. Now, of course, my story doesn't end here. I went to medical school, I lived in West Virginia and Pittsburgh, and ultimately moved halfway across the country to Chicago. But this does tell you about the beginning how I think that I kind of became the person that I am or the person that's behind Dr. Adam or See The Med Life or any of this. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. It was really fun for me to make and a very personal touch back to my early days. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and comment below. Let me know if you'd like to hear the rest of the story. We'll see you in the next video.